So you want to be a player, but your wheels ain't fly. You got to hit us up to get a pimped out ride. Hello, all my servers, mains, and ladies out there. How's it going? It's on Also, it's GMJ57, and welcome back to another episode of GTA 5 Pimp My Ride. Now, today we have a very awesome car. This is the faction, of course. We've uh, pimped out before in Benny's, but this time, this time, with the new update we just got the other day, the uh, second low rise update, we have the faction donk upgrade on. You'll see it here in a sec. This thing's absolutely insane. Oh my god. All right, so here we go. Upgrade vehicle. We can do normal upgrade, or we can upgrade to donk. Let's do it. Let's do it. And are you ready? Holy shit. Why? Why? <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe they added this in the game. They're basically making like the faction like a monster truck. This is so funny. But, totally worth it because it looks so, so cool. Alright, so let's get started. I'm gonna max out the armor, max out the brakes. Alright, on to exhaust. Let's take a look back at the back here. We got the chrome tip exhaust, or we got the big bore. Um, not really much of a difference. I don't know, I like the big bore a little bit better. A little sharper looking. Put that on there. Onto the hood. Uh, we, all the only option is the power bulge in the hood, you know, it says 400 V8 turbo on the side. Looks cool to me, I'm going to put that on there. Uh, transmission, why not max our transmission. Uh, onto the plaques, you guys know me, always east side, but we need the neon one. Uh, I don't think they added any new plaques with this, uh, with this update, did they? they all, they're all pretty much the same. Actually, you know what? This Benny's one's pretty cool. I like that Benny's one, I'm going to throw that on there. Speakers, yes! Exactly what we need speakers in the trunk. All right, so we got the twin sub the triple sub the premium sub the big sub the custom audio install Extreme trunk and insane trunk. So that's that's a lot of fucking speakers right there. Um, I think I liked Which one I, I think I like ah what the f Jesus Christ. I think I like this one the best I'm having so much trouble today. Um, this one's a close I think I'm gonna go with this one I like this one the best the premium sub uh, onto the livery lots of cool livery for this car so Cool. All right, you ready for this? First, we got the cherry popper. This one's like my favorite, but like it can, it has to go with a certain color on the car, so it's uh, you know, not as usable, but definitely an awesome one. The cherry popper ice cream company around the hood. Uh, we can go with the uh, Bishop's chicken. We can go with the P and Q's. Um, we can go with the zebra bar. Zebra bar. Yeah, I read that right. Sorry, for some reason I thought there was an extra A somewhere and I was like trying to figure it out in my head. The exotic bar, the zebra bar. We can go with the uh, captain's log, the mouthful of sprunk, meteorites, the swap meat, or there's the zebralicious, which is a very cool one. I do like the zebralicious. So, I don't know, the livery I might have to come back and pick later once I choose my color. Um, okay, so I'm going to leave the livery for now because I want to choose what's best with uh, the color I want to put on this car. So we're going to go with the engine upgrades, engine block. I always like to do the painted one, so I'm gonna go painted, just painted smooth today, not the ribbed one. Air filters, I'm gonna go, always like to go with the big turbo kit, but we'll take a look at the other ones first. We got the swept back, the vertical, uh, then we have both the chrome and the twin air filters. So I, I still like the big turbo kit, it looks so nice. Even though you can't see it, you know, unless the hood gets ripped off your car, but you know, it's still cool, it's still cool. Now onto the interior, lots of stuff to do for interiors, because of course it is a low rider, so let's get the trim done first. Um, okay, whoa, shit. Okay, so we got beaded seat covers. Looking pretty hella. Oh my god, I can look right behind me. That's so weird. All right, uh, we got the velour, uh, zebra velour, tiger velour, or ti tiger fur, sorry. not Why do I keep saying velour? I don't know. They're, they're all velour. Uh, and then we got leopard print at the end here. Um, you know what? I think if I go with the zebra livery, I'll go with this zebra, zebra print inside the car. Why not? Um, all right, so color for it. What do we want? Um, I'm just gonna put a silver on it. That looks pretty nice, why not? Throw a silver on there. Ornaments, um, I always like to do in my Grim Reaper. Where's my Grim Reaper? There he is. All right, Grim Reaper bobblehead dial. All right, so now I can see the dials a little bit better. Um, oh, I like these flame ones. If you guys can see that, they have flames on them. I'll light them up a little bit in a sec when I change the color on them. All right, onto the wheel. What wheel do we want for this? I don't know, a nice wood one? What a nice, uh, wood doesn't really accent anything in here. Um, oh my god, a chain wheel. I think, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for just this one. That looks good to me. The deco wheel, why not? Alright, the lever always has to be, always has to be a grenade. Grenade's like my go-to. Um, alright, square speaker shelves, this is in the back. Can I even see that? Alright, let me try backing out. Can I see, okay, so there's the speakers in the back. Um, so I put square on there, but now I can check out round. I think I like the round better. I'm gonna throw the round in there. Alright, perfect. Uh, light color. What's okay? Oh, light is the dials. Got it. Got it. I figured it out. Um, all right, we're gonna match. 
Is there a blue I can use on those? Match the inside of the car? Oh my god, blue's way too dark. Yeah, no, I think for these I'm just gonna go for white. None of the blues seem to match quite right. Where's the white? There we go. Um, we're gonna go frost white. All right, perfect. Done with the interior of the car. Now onto the roof of the car. We got the, uh, as you can see, no roof. Oh my god, wait, what? Wasn't there just no roof on there? And then now there's either roof or glass roof. What? Okay, that was a weird glitch, but you know, I am using mods, so anything is possible. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna go with the custom roof. The glass roof looks nice to me, why not? Number plates, all right, so we're gonna hold a, uh, throw a plate on the back there. What do we want for the plate holder? Low and slow? That does not apply to this car in the slightest. Not at all. <laughs> um, palm trees, you know, just chilling. I ain't gonna go with the skulls, but, hmm, I don't know, actually. I like the, um... You know what? I'm gonna go with the studded one. Why not? Change it up. It's gonna be the Pitbull one. You know? Mr. Worldwide. Uh, Alright, on the front, we're gonna throw... I don't know why this is so blurry, but whatever. We're gonna put... I don't know. The Pounders? Oh my god, that's kind of funny. Okay, we're gonna put the Pounders on there. The back plate, I'm gonna go with a yellow on black instead of North Yankton this time. And we're on to lights. So, headlights. Xenon lights, why not? Uh, neon layout, of course you need a neon kit for this car because... It's just so high up, you can basically see the neon at all times. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it. I think this mod, for some reason, the neon always comes on as a hot pink to start. But you know what? I'll just leave that for a second until I choose my color. Uh, window tint uh, with a light smoke. Turbo tuning, of course. Respray. Now, the respray in here, I'm gonna have to back out of the garage to do the respray just because, for some reason, this Benny's mod um, doesn't like to do pearlescence. It only likes to do just flat colors. Don't know why, don't know why, but I do want to put a pearlescent on this, so I will go outside and do that, but we'll, we'll do some wheels first. Um, I'm thinking, what are these? The Benny's bespoke wheels are new ones, right? Oh god, they look so bad. I, I don't like the look of them. Like, they, they're textured, right? And I, ah, it just doesn't look good to me. I don't know, it's, no, I'm gonna back out of here. We're gonna go Benny's original. I'm gonna go right down to the bottom. I'm feeling a little, feeling a little crazy today with this car, since it's just so whacked. So, um, I don't know, super electric, look pretty cool. Um, what else do we got here? I like, I like these ones. The spiralizer. Spiralizers are cool. Uh, what else? Everything else. I don't know, I'm gonna try these Viking ones, actually. I'm gonna try the Viking ones. Don't know what color to put on them yet. So we are gonna have to, uh, go out of the garage and then come back in. The tire, look, white wall and stuff, I think I'll just leave off. Uh, tire smoke, though? Um, alright, that's gonna have to be, uh, color coordinated as well when I get back in here. Alright, so we got all the, uh, the modifications to the car done. Now we need to work on the color. So let me pop open this mod menu here. Uh, paint menu. So we're gonna go primary, secondary. Let's see what we got for colors. Okay. I'm not gonna color it brown, that's for sure. Nautical blue looks pretty nice, but I feel like I can do better. Um, ooh, I don't know, the purple's on this car. The purples. All right, I know what I'm gonna do. We need a we need a bright purple. Um, all right, so we're gonna go to pearlescent. Now we need a good pearlescent for this. So the blues, blues are okay. We're gonna go to the start of the list. So we got blacks uh, all through the silvers. Not really. Uh, we got reds. Reds look nice. Um, let's keep going. Salmon pink. Brighten it up a little bit. That would look nice. Orange. Um, you know what? Where's hot pink? Where's, where, there it is. There's hot pink. All right, all right. I think, actually, let me see what it looks like when I change the secondary color on the car. Um, so if I were to, if I were to just make the secondary color like a black or something, I think that looks pretty cool, actually. All right, so we're gonna go back and put our pearlescent back on. Um, where is it? Hot pink. There it is. All right, let's head back into the garage and get this other shit done. All right, we need to check out liveries first. <clears throat> Right, excuse me. Let's go do that. Liveries. Okay, we got the cherry popper. Um, not really matching. The the bishop's chicken looks pretty good. P's and Q's. Oh, the P's and Q's kind of looks cool. Um, uh, Captain's log. Sprunk. Sprunk looks kind of cool too. Not gonna lie. The meteorite. The meteorite also looks cool. A lot of these are actually really nice liveries. This car has a lot of nice liveries. Uh, the zebra licious. You can't see as much. Just because it is a darker color, but uh, it does look nice still, and it does match the inside of the car. You know what? We're gonna go Zebralicious. We're gonna go Zebralicious. Oh my god, why did I back out of the garage? I'm terrible. Don't mind me. Please, have patience with me. I'm a fool. I backed out of the garage. At least there's no dead monkey in there today. That was weird yesterday. I drove in, there's just a dead monkey on the floor. No clue why. Not a clue. But, you know what? That's the wonder of modding. Alright, let's go down to wheels. 
Uh, wheel color right now it's black. I don't know if we want to make it anything different. I think black's good for these wheels. Uh, I'll take a look through though, you know what? Take a look what purple looks like with the wheels as well. Why didn't I just go like upwards from the top? I went through every single color. Uh, you know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna change the tire smoke to a purple, but I will not. I don't need to change the wheels. I think they'll they're fine as black. Let's see what we got here. All the way down. Dark magenta's good. There's so many tire smoke colors. I could be going forever before I hit P for purple. So you know what? We're gonna leave it like that. So the tires I think are good. What else did I have to set? The lights, the neon. That's it. All right. So neon right now. It was like a magenta, kind of hot pink. So I think if we find a dark, dark magenta, you know, match tire smoke. You know what? I'm not liking the livery anymore. I think I want to change it. I think I want the P's and Q's. I think I like the P's and Q's way better. The inside can stay zebra print. We're good to go. We're good to go. We're taking it outside. Here it is. The finished product. This is the Faction Donk. Look at this thing. This thing's actually insane how, like, tall it is. We're gonna take it for a little drive right here. Are you ready for this? All right, holy shit. I wish I could drive right up and over that car. I don't know how how I didn't. I need the suspension a little bit higher. Say, see now the thing is, this car is a muscle car. So I'm a little concerned when I'm driving this car in a muscle car race. Am I gonna be able to like drive over top of other muscle cars? Is this gonna be really fair? You know, like this thing's insane. It's just so tall, like it's so cool. I actually really like this car. Uh, definitely a definitely a keeper. It's actually pretty fast to drive around too. Like it's not a slow muscle car, so that's really nice. And you know, just those giant wheels. It just how can how can you not turn heads with this thing? So I thank you so much for watching this episode of GTA 5 Pimp My Ride. Um, if you enjoyed it, remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And if you stayed to the end, leave a hashtag GTA 5 Lowriders down in the comment section below, so I know who you guys are. If you actually stayed to the end, you guys are awesome. Not everyone stays, you know, to see the finished product and that kind of stuff. So you guys are obviously the best. Holy crap! I can probably ramp with this thing pretty good. Anyway, I thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below if you have not already. And as always, have a good day.